comes out of obedience. We know that slavery, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وعباد الرحمن الذين يمشون على الأرض هو The slaves of Allah are those who walk on earth with ease. So that, not, that does not negate those who do not walk on earth with ease. They are not the slaves of Allah. They are the slaves of Allah. But they do not have the slavery of obedience. Therefore, the best position we can occupy in this is to be enslaved to Allah Azza wa Jal. The most honorable title for us, what is it? Al-Laqab, al-Ladhi al-Laqab bihi, ma huwa afdal al-Alqab al-Ladhi al-Laqab biha, huwa Abdullah. The most honorable title for you, not Mr. President, not Mr. This, not Mr. That, not what, no, do not, la taqub fil masjid. الركب في المسجد ممنوع. So the most honorable title that you get is to be Abdullah. So how people would like to, you know, show up? He put a gold watch on his hand. He rides a nice car. He put a silk suit. He thinks he is now a hot shot. Whereas he does not equal the wing of mosquitoes. He is nothing. But what would make you honorable is how much you accomplish your slavery to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala referred to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as his slave to honor him in three different circumstances. The first circumstances in the circumstance of challenge. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was challenging the disbelievers, He said, If you were in doubt in what we have revealed to our slaves, وَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبٍ مِمَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا if you were in doubt in that which we have revealed to our slaves. So he referred to him not to, if you were in doubt to that which we revealed to Muhammad al Qurashi, who is the most honorable genealogy on earth, he is from the tribe of Quraysh. He did not refer to him as, as such. He referred to him as the slave of Allah, because that is the most honorable position a person can accomplish. Also, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when Allah wants to show his favor over him, what did he say? He referred to him as a slave. He says, Subhanallahi asra bi abdihi. The glory be to the one who took his slave from the masjid, from the masjid al haram, the masjid in Mecca, to the masjid in Jerusalem. So this is showing the bounty over Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and he referred to him as the king. The third incident, the third circumstance is the circumstance of da'wah. When Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi is making da'wah, he says, وَأَنَّهُ لَمَّا قَامَ عَبْدُ اللَّهِ يَدْعُوهُ كَادُوا يَكُمُونَ عَلَيْهِ يَدْعُوهُ When the slave of Allah stood up to make the call stood up to make the call in the name of Allah. So he referred to him as his slave. From this we understand the most honorable position that we can gain in our life is the position of achieving our and uh, enslaving ourselves to Allah Azza wa Jal by doing those things which he made mandatory for us to do, by giving gratitude to Allah Azza wa Jal and by also be impatient when some calamities before, before us. <laughs> we go, insha'Allah, to the ayah that is in the uh, book. And this is after we finish the ayah. وَقَدَ رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّا we have talked about this ayah. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُ إِلَّا إِيَّا We have your book. 
book. You get those English books in there. This ayah that uh, Sheikh Muhammad bin Abdul Zahab brought in the first chapter in uh, this ayah وَقَدَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّا Your Lord has decreed that you worship none of Him. We have talked about this portion of this ayah. The second portion of this ayah وَبِلْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانَ And be beautiful to your spirit. Allah always connected establishing Tawheed when He ordered us to establish Tawheed also to be good to our spirit. We are the reason by which we were brought to this life. We have to be good to our parents, whether they are believers or disbelievers. We have to be kind and we have to be gentle to them, as long as they are not fighting the religion. If they are fighting the religion, then you have your life and they have their own life. But if they are even if they are disbelievers, but they are not fighting the religion, that does not prohibit you to be kind and gentle to them. And that would mean to be beautiful to your parents. This would mean you know, to be a word of disrespect. We need to not say if they're old, when a person gets old, his requirements get low, they're increased. Give me this, give me this, give me this, I want this. So people might have the tendency to you know, be born with this. They all um, have had it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us not to say to them a word of disrespect. No shout at them, but address them in terms of honor. فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُسْفِلْ وَلَا تَذْهَرْهُمَا وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا it was translated good terms of translation and say to them words in terms of honor. And that implies the way you say it to them and how what you say to them. If somebody tells you, your father tells you, please give me a cup of water. You tell them, okay, I'm going to give you a cup of water. You're going to give them the cup of water, but the way you are delivering your path is not nice. It's not serene. So you have to deliver it to them in a nice way, and also in of itself has to be nice. And lower unto them the way of submission and humility because of mercy. People have wings, wings that do not are not seen. This wing is the wing of arrogance. People they put the wing of arrogance and they try to fly over the people. So they see the people down, and he see himself very high. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, lower your wing to your parents, the wing of submission. Do not see yourself, you are now strong and powerful. No, you have to lower yourself to them and address them with the humility, because that reflects your mercy to them. And say, O oh Allah, bestow on them your mercy as they did to bring me up when I was small. They are the ones who struggle in raising you up and go through all the difficulties of raising up a child. And those difficulties cannot be understood unless when the child himself is raising his own child. Then the child will understand how much the parents went through for raising this child. So this is the first ayah that the Shaykh Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab rahimahullah ta'ala has brought in the first chapter of this book. So the second ayah is in Surah Nisa. It says, وَعْبِدُ اللَّهِ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا Worship Allah and do not associate none with Him. 